Hello Floss Tube. My name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fanta Stitches, and this is my Floss Tube update number 253. Today is, excuse me while I move this around a little bit, today is October 15th, 2022, for those of you keeping score at home. And um, this is a channel about cross stitch, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, get started. I think I say that every week, but you know, whatever. For those of you who might be new, uh, for those of you who are returning subscribers, thank you very much for continuing to uh, come back and support. Excuse me while I drink a lovely beverage. I've had entirely too much soda this morning. I had a little bit this morning and then, um, we, uh, my sisters and I recorded our, our three, sisters, three Sisters Creative um, Sticks and Strings video uh, this morning. It'll be out, it'll be available tomorrow, Sunday. But we, so, you know, we, we always, <laughs> it's become our tradition to, to uh, uh, drink Diet Cokes during the recording of that uh, video. So I had some this morning. And then uh, my older sister and I, we, we went to, my sister Naomi's house for the to to do the video and so on the way back since it was like after 12 uh, when we finished we stopped to get lunch and I got another soda <laughs> we had another soda as we went through the drive through and so and now I'm I'm I just refilled my drink and so <laughs> I'm on my at least my third it's entirely too much caffeine, but you know, what can I say? So anyway, <laughs> I'm going to talk about cross stitch. Um, so the first thing, um, I did was I did have, I talked, I, I think last week about, uh, some birthday stuff that my sisters gave me. Uh, I have a, a project bag, um, that my older sister made for me. What's this one here? It's a vinyl front bag. She doesn't make very many vinyl front bags because it's just a different process. And so she's she's made a few, um, but mostly she's made this kind of project bag, which is a larger bag with the handles on it. She made this one for me a year ago, two years ago. I don't know. I've had it for a while. Um, but anyway, so uh, and I also use, just, just to be clear, I use these these kind of zipper bags. Um, so I have a bunch of those too. But anyway, so Eve made me that, uh, sunflower vinyl front, uh, bag. And then, um, uh, my sister Naomi gave me this pattern. Um, this is, uh, Southwest Decoratives Yay. Yay, yay, y e i uh, from their Rugs of the Southwest series. Um, and the designer for this is Patty Grandel, I want to say. Um, so it's 129 by 87, which isn't huge. Um, it's, I guess, a lot of stitch this way. And then it is sort of, uh, uh, total coverage here, uh, in this, uh, this little ecru color. And I think I am going to go ahead and do the, the full coverage. Um, because I didn't, you know, like dye the fabric or anything like that. I could have dyed the fabric, I guess, this, this, uh, it's sort of an ecru color. I could have dyed the fabric that color and that would have precluded me having to do the full coverage. Um, but you know, I got the, 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 it was a kit. Uh, this came as a kit that came with all the threads. Um, so I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and you know, do the full coverage. Uh, why not? And then uh, my sister-in-law, Rachel, gave me this little needle minder. And this actually, I, mean, I have the, hang on a second. Um, I meant to talk about this. Uh, she gave it to me Sunday, so I didn't have it when I talked about it last time. Um, by Kelm Scott Designs 
dot com. Uh, so that there is a, a website you can go to, kellenscottdesigns.com. And uh, that's where she got this, this lovely needle minder from. Great, elephant. Um, so anyway, I did go ahead and start that. And this kit, like I said, came with um, the pattern and the fabric. It came with a 14 count Ada and a needle. And it came with all the threads. And I finally get to use my, my, uh, I bought this Nantucket, uh, it says, uh, Nantucket Whalers in this little, uh, floss, uh, what do you call it? Floss drop thing. Anyway, it, it, you know, it, it, I just, I just loved it. And it, I, 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 suppose they have um various uh patterns or whatever that kind of go with this thing i don't know i just saw this and i and i bought it because i love it it's got a little ship back there and it's it's you know the whalers in it says food spirits lodging nantucket there's a whale there and just it's really pretty but anyway it's it's wooden it's made of wood I've bought it, like I said, at the attic, and I had it just, you know, a long time, and I just had never used it because um, I really don't use uh, floss drops just as a matter of, of course, I use, I have, I use a lot of DMC, so I have all that on bobbins, and I, I don't mind bobbinating, and my fancy floss, um, I have on the little cards they come on, and, um, and I have like these, um, those vinyl ring things, you know, I, I was using metal rings before, but, but, um, I wasn't as crazy about them. They tend, they, sometimes I, I can snag the threads of them and, and there, some of them, some of them are really easy to open and some of them are really hard to open and close. So, um, I got the, those little, uh, wire cable things they screw together. They're, you know, a little bit tricky. You have to be careful not to like, you know, spill everything out, but, I bought several of those anyway, but I, so I had this and I had never used it, but these are the threads that came with that kit, except for, they were like, um, I think five colors that came with it, but this, they give you a lot of this color because this is that full coverage for the background of the design for this, this, uh, this background color here. And actually I have, a, a another, you know, a glob of this thread that's in the, uh, in the bag I have more of that thread because they give you a lot because it's you know for the whole, whole background so I just grabbed you know like made two hanks out and stuck them in the and this two, these two holes but otherwise it's just these other colors so you know I thought well that would be perfect it's a perfect use of my my whale uh, floss thingy Anyway, so I, I did make a little bit of a start. I started, I did just a little bit. I just did one thread length um, on Monday, on my birthday. And the rest of this I did today during our, our video. Uh, so this is the, I did a center start. So this is the the middle of the three sisters. I, this one here. Uh, so it's just the, the, the middle of the, this, her body and then this. Part of the skirt so I did this uh, partly on my birthday and and partly today so that's yay then the other thing I have so last time I, I um, no I'll talk about, talk about that later sorry <laughs> um, this is my bunny sampler uh, so as part of the um, cross stitch camp sampler variation I have until December but um so the I'm almost done with this I have the rest of this hill to finish filling in the grass on and then that spider rose that I've been putting off but um I did finish the bunny one over one this bunny and the alphabet and um and then the leaves 
here are Smyrna crosses and the letters of the alphabet are 1 over 1. Um, the border is just uh, 1 over 2, regular crosses. And, and th these are my initials down here, E-A-M. And then um, in the original design, uh, the year is 04. And I just, it didn't have a, a, a numerical, like, you know, uh, thing uh, design for uh, things. Um, so I just uh, did my own adaptation. And if I had had a little more room, if I had moved these over a little bit, I guess I could have made... Uh, the, the little twos a little differently but so I just went with them like I wanted to make them like one one block longer but it would have run directly into this uh, this M down here so I didn't do that <laughs> I think if I had if I had moved these over a little bit it was a little hard to do because um, because the designers initials are here and they're you know everything fits perfectly but her initials are a little different from mine, and so the M on mine is uh, wider. So that's why it ran into where the two the the year was. But anyway, so I did the my initials and the year, and the outline of the heart is done in Smyrna crosses also. But when I got to the outline of the heart, I was so happy with it, and I did the satin stitches. Those are two over uh, two uh, two threads done with two threads the the satin stitches on the inside but so i did all these smyrna crosses and i had just enough thread to finish the heart and then when i was starting to work on the the grass i realized the heart is off by you know half a block you know it's one one block over the wrong way uh because when i got down here i thought well you know the grass you know is supposed to line up with the border and I realized, yeah, the heart's not in the right place. So right around the heart, you know, the, the little uh, blocks are kind of fudged a little bit, you know, because I wasn't going to pull that out and do it over again. So stray cat hair on there. But anyway, so, so yeah, you, you know, you have to kind of look. You can kind of tell there's something fishy right around there. But, uh, yeah, so I'm almost finished filling in this grass this is this is supposed to be it the call for is gentle arts avocado but um i used a uh, classic color works teapot instead and then uh all that's left will be the the spider rose and it'll be this uh, this uh, darker color there but that's also that's almost done and it was um uh difficult i've never done as much one over one um and i think i had done um i did a pattern before called tomato dame and it had some one over one but only a, just a little bit like um i think there were a few crows uh, in that design and um, and so I don't know I think the birds themselves were one over one but there are only like maybe three or four of them in that design I forget um, I think it's a I want to say it's Plum Street but I'm not sure but anyway it's called Tomato Dame and I did it for my niece she's a big tomato fan uh, as am I um, but so that was the only one over one I think I'd ever done really until I did this design it's a lot of one over one and um and 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 a lot of Smyrna crosses I had like I said on the last week on the scissor fob that I did it had um both uh some satin stitches and Smyrna crosses and it's also that was a Chessie and me design this is also Chessie and me this uh is the bunny sampler so like i said i have this the the rest of this hill to fill in and this big fat uh spider rose to do and i'll be done so it's almost almost finished
and it's coming along very nicely. But this is just me, just like the, the scissor pod. So it has a lot of Smyrna crosses. I don't know if, if uh, the designer, uh, Linda Lornschlager, uh, I don't know if she just loves Smyrna crosses or whatever, but there's a lot of them in this design. And, uh, yeah. But it's really cute, really cute design. So it's almost finished. But that one I was doing for cross stitch camp uh, sampler yeah, sampler camp basically. And then the other only other thing I had um, is my second Whipco uh, piece. So the first one I had did was the scissor fob scissor fob that I finished last week. The Jesse me beneath the bow scissor fob. And this is upside down. And so then this one is my other Whipco uh, call for this month. And that is the uh, Christmas towel, the Leisure Arts adaptation that I did. So there's Rudolph and the other reindeer and Santa and his little sled. And so, yeah, I did check on that. And I guess I had the, the one, the original design was rain, one reindeer pulling the sled with I think the, just the gift on it or something. And the other one, uh, the other design was Santa pulling the sled with a tree on it. Something like that. So, so then I, so I combined and elongated this sled and put both, I, both the gift and the tree. And then I duplicated the reindeer to make eight, of, well, nine, I should say, Rudolph and the eight other reindeer. And so the only thing I didn't do, because I didn't think about it, at, when I did it was the the like some kind of reins you know <laughs> connecting the reindeer but that's that's still cooking in my brain about how I'm going to do that but so I finished the reindeer little reindeer butts <laughs> if you will and I did um, their antlers I got cat hair on it whatever um, so all that's left is each uh there each reindeer has like a some little spots there for their cheeks and then uh their noses and then i think all that's left on them is the white um there's white they have little white hats and scarves and then each one has a little there's a little spot of red on the scarf so they have this, the top of their hat has to be finished, and then this white on the hat, and then the the white of the scarf around their neck. And like I said, they each have these little, little dots for their cheeks, little pink cheeks. And then there's, the, their eyes are uh, French knots, I think. But there's a lot of backstitching, and it's good because like, see that like the fringe on their scarves is uh, backstitching. And then they, they have like these little red, you know, stripe on their scarf. And it's a lot of like, you know, half stitches where one, one part of an X meets the other part, like red and white or whatever. And so, you know, those are defined by the, by the back stitch in between them. But they have, you know, just a lot of that, like, you know, this, this scarf is all like those kind of quarter stitches or whatever and like in Santa there's a lot like this whole staff thing is all half stitches you know on either side of the square or whatever so you really have to have your thinking cap on to make those to make sure you're doing the right part of the square or whatever and there's a lot of white on Santa so it's kind of hard I did work on Santa after I finished the I got to a certain point, like I said, I haven't done those those little details around the, I haven't done all the white on the uh, deer and, um, you know, done any of, there's a little more detail on them. But I decided to go ahead and do Santa, and you can't really see it very well, but you can kind of see there's the white of his beard and around his, on his hat a little bit and a little bit around his hands. So, uh, it's a little, you know, it's, it's pretty tricky. So, I, but I went ahead and did all the white involved and there's like white down here in the package, uh, on the sled. Um, 
So this is done except for the back stitching, um, but I'm not going to do it until I, you know, because like it connects to Santa and all that. I have a little bit more. Uh, Santa has a, 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 a bag done in mostly grays. There's a little bit of blue and a little bit of, uh, I think there's some French knots, red French knots in there. Um, and then a lot of back stitching to define. And there's, like I said, there's gray and like a peachy color for his face and, you know, things like that. So, uh, and some off whites to, uh, surround this, you know, white stitching. There's a little, you can just see the white stitching here. And so I'm not as concerned with it because it's all, it's all surrounded by back stitch. There's a lot of back stitching in this, uh, design to, to set them all off. So any of the white that's on there, the only, the only thing is the difficulty in stitching it because you can't see it as easily. So I have to, you know, have it very well lit and, and really, um, work on, on getting all those little stitching things correct. But, um, my goal on this is to finish it and I have half a month basically, right? To, to finish it. So I'm hoping that, uh, because I, I did this basically in one day, a little over one day, maybe a day and a half or something I, that I stitched, uh, uh, finished the Santa. And so today, I hope by the end of the day, I can, maybe I can finish in all of that uh, uh, gray the and off-white and whatever that, you know, to finish uh, Santa off. And then I have to get started on the on the the deep the last of the details of these deer. It's a little difficult because it's you know it's it's a little fiddly and but then like it's you know not once but nine times you know on, on each of those deer and um, so yeah it's gonna be a little difficult but I I'm hoping that in the fifteen days or so that are left that I'll be able to get through those. And I don't have any haul, surprisingly, <laughs> uh, this this week. Um, I haven't really, um, haven't made any purchases or, any purchases or anything, but um, I expect that next week, my, my, my sister's been talking with the attic and, and I think that, that they're anticipating uh, finally getting um, her, her pattern in next week. Because she was thinking, she was saying, um, next week we're probably going to go to the attic <laughs> to get uh, the the pattern she had ordered. Um, so so I'll probably spend some money there next week. But so far, like I said, so far I haven't I haven't bought anything uh, for this week. I'm just hoping I I just working on the the. Uh, that Southwestern uh, rug series sampler. I just, you know, happened to add that to my pile of, of things I'm working on. And I hope to finish the little bunny sampler uh, in a couple of days. And then um, I still haven't worked on uh, the rabbit rabbit. Um, I, you know, cause I, like I said, I, I wanted to try um, changing threads and see, um, uh, how that works, but I just put it off because I'm wanting to make some pr real progress on the Christmas towel. Uh, my goal for Whipgo is to finish it, and so you know I uh, I don't want to get lazy and you know because it, it is a lot of work to to do all those little fiddly details. So I want to uh, to work on that while I have the energy to work on it. Make sure that I do that, you know, a little bit each day so that, uh, I can get as much done as possible on that. And the more I, <clears throat> the more I can finish on there, like if I, if I just get stern with myself and work on like the white is the hardest part because it's hard to see. And, and like I said, there's a lot of those little half stitch things in the, in the pattern. And so, uh, I just been putting it off and putting it off. Like I could have done the white on each deer as I went along. And, you know, like my, my younger sister and I have sort of like difference of approach of like, she was talking about how she like 
you know, what little cross stitching she does or whatever, um, that she uh, prefers to do motif by motif, like, you know, finish this individual thing. And so, so she would have done like, you know, one reindeer till it was done and then do another reindeer, reindeer till it's done, you know, and I prefer, I'm sort of a color completist. So, you know, like, like these reindeer, you know, I did all of, you know, all of this color, you know, for each of the, of the deer. And then I did all of, you know, all of this color and all, you know, so all the greens and all the reds and, you know, so like, and so this past week I did all of the, all of the antlers. So that was one color. I did all of them, you know, and when I, so when I got to that point, all I had to do was those little cheeks and their noses and then the white, the dreaded white. And I just didn't want to do it. So I started on Santa and I knew that it was white, but I thought, well, if I just get it done, if I could just get Santa done, then, then, you know, I'm, I'm that, I'm, I'm that much more accomplished because I was afraid that I would get lazy and forget that I still hadn't done any of the Santa stuff yet. So, um, but, and, and I still have to think about, you know, the, the reins to connect them. Cause I, I just didn't put it in there. I just left them all floating out in space. <laughs> so, so, uh, so I have to, 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 you know, just get practical and think that through a little bit and it'll be done. So I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that I can uh, finish it in time. So if I do finish it before the end of the month, um, then I'll probably, maybe I'll work on the rabbit rabbit um, and finish the bunny sampler. And <laughs> and uh, maybe I'll do more of the, that uh, yay series. And, um, but like I said, I, I wanna work on rabbit rabbit because I want to solve my thread problem on, uh, on that piece. And, uh, yeah. So it looks like, uh, um, it looks like I, I'm going to be able to, to have a couple of finishes, uh, if not this coming week, uh, then certainly, uh, before the end of the month, uh, I think. So, uh, so yeah, I, I, um, this is going to be a short video because I don't have a whole lot else to talk about. But, um, so those are my upcoming goals. Hopefully to finish the, a couple of things by the, by next week, probably the bunny sampler by next week for sure. Um, and the, the Christmas towel, maybe, maybe by next week, maybe I'll have to finish it for you next to show you next week. We'll see. Um, but I think, I think that's it. My sister and I had a, a good concert on last Tuesday. We think we talked about it. And this Tuesday, uh, we started rehearsals for our uh, next upcoming uh, Christmas program. And um, Naomi had a, a procedure for, uh, she had an implanted heart monitoring device. She, talk, <laughs> she talks about that at length on, on our uh, Sticks and Strings video, which... Uh, it comes out on Sunday if you want to see that. Um, but um, so I went to rehearsal uh, by myself uh, and I'm playing first on this concert because she had that procedure. So she's going to miss uh, uh, some of the rehearsals before she can play again because of the, the implant. She can't uh, lift anything heavy for a certain time. So um, uh so anyway, I'm working on this this uh, music, and it's all stuff I've played before. Um, all I think all three pieces are things that I've done before, um, but you know, because my hand you know was affected uh, by the the little stroke that I had you know several years ago, um, certain things are harder for me than they used to be once upon a time, and um, so you know, but it's still kind of funny. I I I just I've been uh, singing in my head, the, you know, those, those, uh, the pieces that we're doing. We're doing a, a, a movement of Sibelius Symphony and a movement of, of a Dvorak, no, uh, uh, the Dvorak Slavonic Dances, we're doing one of those. And we're doing um, 
la fuerza del destino, the force of destiny. Um, I think it's uh, opera overture. It is what it is. And um, so, yeah, I've, I've done all of those before. So uh, those are going to be, <laughs> it's a good thing it's all stuff we've done before because, you know, I'm uh, more or less on my own a little bit for, for the next uh, few rehearsals anyway. Um, anyway, so that's just uh, just stuff going on in my life. And um, that's, I think that's about it. So I will see you next week. Um, same time. No, not, not the same time. Who knows what time. But uh, same place. And until then, thanks for watching. And until then, happy stitching. And I'll see you next week. Thanks. Bye.